What's up everybody, James is back and today in this video we're gonna dive a little bit more into the Nike Run Club app, more specifically the Quick Start. So if you're new to running, this might be a great asset for you to track your mileage as you really start to get into your running journey. I'm gonna cover a few quick features on the home page of the Nike Run Club app that you can use to help you out on your runs. So let's go ahead and dive right into the app. So as you can see, I got my phone pulled up right here and the first thing that you see is the quick start page when it comes to the NRC app. So what I want us to do is to focus on the actual quick start. You're gonna see at the top, it says basic here. Right now you can see that I am set up automatically for an outdoor run. So you can tell that immediately by the GPS sign right here that's tracking. So if you're gonna do an outdoor run, we'll focus on this real quick. But what I wanna highlight, and this is a few things that I've noticed that other running apps don't do, that's something that I really appreciate about the Nike Run Club app. So the first one here is the basic run. So if I'm ready to go, I would fire up my app, push start, and then I would immediately be able to go on a run and it would track my mileage. But sometimes it's one of those things to where maybe you just don't wanna run and go. Maybe you actually wanna select the distance that you're trying to achieve during your run. So if you click the basic here at the top, you can actually select distance. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna allow you to select how far do you actually want to run. And then while you're doing it, the app will actually communicate how far you are when it comes to that distance. So it's set up to a half marathon. Now the thing that I like about this feature is that once I start running, Nike actually has it to where you can receive alerts on the run to tell you every time you hit a half mile or a full mile. But the cool thing about when you select distance is once you hit the halfway point, so for this one, once I hit seven miles, instead of saying eight miles once I hit the eighth mile, it would actually start counting backwards saying now you only have six miles to go, now you only have four miles to go, now you only have three miles to go. So it's a pretty cool feature that I personally like to help you start narrowing it down because sometimes it sounds a lot easier or more manageable when you hear you only have three miles left or two miles left or one miles left. And that's something that's gonna help give you the encouragement and the push that you need to complete your run. One thing I also like about this is that it'll tell you it's the halfway point and then you know it's time to turn around. So for example, if I'm gonna go run it out and back and I only wanna do three miles, at one and a half miles, the app will actually tell me you've reached your halfway point. That way I automatically know to turn around instead of potentially forgetting how long I wanted to run and kick back. So that's something that I do appreciate. It's super easy to edit. Um, if you're into 5Ks, it's super simple. And once you push start, you're good to go. Another one is perhaps you just wanna run a certain amount of time and you're not necessarily worried about the distance. So for you, maybe you wanna run 30 minutes, maybe you wanna run 40 minutes, maybe you wanna run 50 minutes. Nike Run Club app actually gives you the option to select the time versus distance. So if I click on duration, I can see right here, it lets me set up a specific amount of time that I will actually run and the app will communicate to me while I'm running. So again, super easy to edit. Perhaps you want to go do for a one hour run. I can see right here at the bottom, right above the numbers, it'll actually give me an estimation of how far I'll run during that hour long duration. So if I put 10 hours, you can see it looks like it's estimating that I would run 52.6 miles. So that's a cool feature when it comes to Nike that a lot of running apps don't have. They don't really have the flexibility for you to select your distance or to select a specific amount of time that you wanna run. It's pretty much you start your app, you go, and then you have to control everything by thought, and then you're done. Now again, this is set up currently for an outdoor run. So if you wanted to do an indoor run, all you have to do is push the little cog that's next to the start button. The top left, you can actually click indoor, you push done, and then now you'll notice it shows a little treadmill sign there in the middle, right below the 3.10 and above the start button. 
Now, when you're running indoor on a treadmill, it's a lot easier to track your distance. It's a lot easier to track your time because you do have the monitor right in front of you. But again, if you're really into running, some people like to put a towel over the timer when it comes to treadmills and you have your headphones in. The app will actually talk to you and let you know your progression based on the setting and the feature that you selected. So if you do push basic, all the app will do is it'll speak to you when you hit different milestones in your run that you've personally set up and it'll just do that until you stop the run. So that's all I wanted to talk to you today, specifically when it comes to the quick start on the Nike Run Club app. The three main things, especially if you're a new runner, you're gonna focus on is probably basic, distance, and duration. Depending on what you're looking for for that run, Nike does give you the flexibility to help you really narrow down and hone in on what you're looking for more specifically, which I do think is a neat feature that separates from other running apps. And again, if you're new to running, in my opinion, it's critical to be sure that you track your mileage so that you can be aware of how much miles you're getting in each week so that you can help be mindful of recovery to help prevent injury in the long run so that you can keep getting back out there. A bonus feature that we'll cover real quick in this video is that you can actually sync your Nike Run Club app to your Apple activity. So if you do run with an iPhone, if you do have an Apple Watch, you can actually sync it to your activity, which is super nice. So if I jump over to my activity thing, I'll notice that on certain uh, runs, I'll see a little green dot next to it. So if I click on the 25th, because I see a green dot and I scroll down, I'll actually see that my Nike Run Club run shows up on my activity feed when it comes to my Apple Watch. So that's a neat little feature that I do appreciate. Nike works very hard to share with other apps, which is neat. So that is a cool feature to help also gauge your distance with your current steps and your other activity goals that you set with your Apple Watch. So that's all I have for you today. I hope you liked this quick little tutorial when it comes to the quick start. So if you're into running, go ahead and comment below what app you use when it comes to tracking your mileage. And be sure to subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date on all future content. I'm gonna dive into a little bit more features of the Nike Run Club app in the future. So until next time, YouTube.